Assalamu alaikum, very good morning to all my students. Today, I'm Dr. Sharif Fauzi bin Kramar Zaman again introducing you a new chapter in the Data Communication Networking. So, our topic for today is Module 9, Address Resolution. So, for those who haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and I would appreciate if you leave a like button on my videos. So, our topic today will be under Module 9, Address Resolution. So, Address Resolution is basically how we can get a physical address for your PC. So, in your PC, basically, we have two types of address, which is the MAC address and the IP address. So, an IP address okay, is the one that you usually do when you send some information from one location to another. When you access the internet, you mostly need the IP address. However, we have another type of address, what we call a MAC address. So, there are two primary addresses assigned to a device on an Ethernet LAN. So, we call it layer 2 physical address, which is the MAC address. So this one is used by the NIC to NIC communication on the same internet network. So then in the layer 3, we have what we call the logical address. So this is where the IP address involved. So they use to send the packet from the source device to the destination device. So layer 2 addresses are used to deliver frames from one NIC to another NIC on the same network. So if a destination IP address is on the same network, the destination MAC address will be that of the destination device as well. Okay, so if you see within a network, same network, the MAC address and the source MAC address and the destination MAC address will be the same source IP address and the destination IP address. So it's not the same value, however, it representing the same computer. So when involve a communication with a remote network, okay, when we, we go to a remote network, so when the destination IP address is very, very far, the destination MAC address usually is our default gateway. So what is the default gateway in your home? So mostly they are the Wi-Fi router of your house. Okay, so ARP is used by IPv4 to associate the IPv4 address of a device with the MAC address of the device NIC. So ICMPv6 is used in case of IPv6. They are used to associate the IPv6 address of a device with the MAC address of the device NIC. So basically, if you look at in a remote network, so the PC1, they have the source MAC address, okay? And they have this destination address, which is the router one. However, if you look back, the source IPv4 is PC1, the destination IPv4 is PC2. So why? Why did the destination is IP uh, R1, router one, instead of PC2? So because the destination IPv4 representing the logical address, the real destination of your data. So that's why we need it to represent PC2. However, the MAC address basically representing where is the next stop of your data before moving on towards your final destination. So usually, in this case, okay, once from A, from PC1, they reach router 1, the source MAC address and destination MAC address will swap from R1 to R2 next. So it means that here, instead of PC1 MAC address, it will change to R1 source MAC address and R2 as a destination MAC address. But the source IPv4 and destination IPv4 will still remain the same. Since that is the sole purpose, sending from PC1 to the PC2. Okay, so the MAC address is helping connection between two devices. Okay, so once you reach R2, Okay, it will again swap the source and MAC address according to R2 and PC2. So why? Why exactly there are no MAC address for the switch? So basically switch here, okay, <coughs> switch here 
they didn't represent any uh, NIC as inside this network. Okay, means that it just it knows directly. It just uh, diverts the the information based on the destination MAC address towards the intended device. Okay, so usually when the data goes toward the switch, okay, the switch just diverted it. The switch doesn't need to have its own MAC address to receive those make uh, the added frame okay to receive and then process again okay it will be time consuming method consuming around uh, the network so in this case okay in, in terms of uh, mac address okay in order to send information from one place to another you need to have a physical uh, the logical address and also the physical address the mac address so in this case instead of just storing the the internet address is not enough so you need to store the MAC address well means that you need to know the PC need to know who to go first so this is where we have the ARP so ARP basically known as address resolution protocol so the device they use the ARP to determine the destination MAC address of a local device when it knows its IPv4 address Okay, if they know the IP address, but they don't know the MAC address. Okay, so they use the ARP to provide them the MAC address. So ARP provides two basic functions. The first one is to resolve IPv4 address to MAC addresses and to maintain an ARP table of IPv4 to MAC address mapping. So in this case, if the data doesn't know, they will find out using the ARP protocol and once they find out they will store in case you are going to use it again later on in the future so then to send a frame a device will search its IRP table for a destination IPv4 address and a corresponding MAC address if the packet destination IPv4 address is on the same network the device will search the ARP table for the destination IPv4 address if the IPv4 address is on a different network, the device will search the IRP table for the IPv4 address on, no, no, off the default gateway. Means that you will get the ARP table in case they don't know, okay, it is in very far away, they will send it to the default gateway first. The default gateway will find out the next connection after that. Okay, so in this case, they are in different network further away. Okay, you need to have your own internet router to utilize it. So if the device locates the IPv4 address, its corresponding MAC address is used as the destination MAC address in the frame. If there are no ARP table entries found, then the device sends an ARP request. Means that it requests from everybody in the network Knowing, knowing that the IP address, you will ask who IP address this is, who is this belong to, and the PC who, who has the IP address will reply, but this belong to me, this is my IP address. Please send it to this MAC address location. Okay, so if there are a lot of network involved, means that they are there, there will be a long list of ARP table storing physical and logical address of any connection that you have. So this is not good because you wasted your PC memory. So entries in the ARP table are not permanent and are removed when an ARP timer expired after a specific period of time. So the duration of the ARP cache timer differs depending on the operating system. So ARP table, the entries can also be removed manually by the administrator as in case you are an administrator and you need to reduce the entries of your ARP table. So in this case, if you look at the images here, so we have here, okay, I will remove the ARP entry if I have not used it in two minutes. So usually the ARP, Table content, they will remove it if it's uh, the usage is less than usual later on. So this one benefit where so in case you have your own smartphone where you have access point all the time, so it help you your smartphone to forget 
past network and then get new network in case it will not congest all your memory storing all those information later on so in case you want to know okay how erp table works okay in a cisco router and switches okay you can check uh, by typing show IPRP, you can check this in packet tracer as well. So if you have packet tracer and you run uh, show IPRP, you can open your device, your switch or your router and look inside it for, uh, for the information of the uh, IP and also the uh, MAC address. Okay, in this case here, you can see this is the, the MAC address and this one is the IP address. And in Windows, like for example, okay, you can access this, like for example, this is my PC, you can type in ARP-A, okay, you can see that this is all the computers, the IP address belong within my network, okay, uh, so this is the physical address as well, okay. So, this one, okay, represent, you can check in your PC, okay, based on your internet connection, you can see this information coming in. Okay, this sometimes might be useful for you in the future as well. So the problem with ARP issues is that ARP usually when the PC doesn't know that uh, they they doesn't know that uh, the MAC address or the destination IP address that they want to go. Okay, so they need to ask. So usually the PC sending PC they will broadcast messages telling who this this IP address belongs to. Okay, and then a PC will reply, this is belong to me, then my MAC address is this, this address. So this sometimes cause problems, okay. So they are request, uh, the request, okay, they are received and processed by all the device within a local network. So excessive ARP broadcast, they can cause reduction in performance of the network, means that a lot of PCs asking about this and then they will reduce the traffic within and they will increase the traffic within the network. So the ARP replies, they can be spoofed as well by a threat actor to perform an ARP poisoning attack. What does it mean by this? So this means that somebody can pretend to be another PC. You want to send a PC from your PC to, like for example, your friend PC. And somebody within the network hack their own PC to behave like your friend PC so that they can receive the data that you send to your friend. So this is where spoofing occurred. Okay. So usually in our switches, okay, in our switches, in our routers, so they include this kind of a lot of kind of mitigation techniques, and there are a lot of research involving these mitigation techniques that can help you protect protect your PC against the ARP attack, okay? So this is one thing that you need to understand when we use, we deal with ARP, okay? In terms of address resolution in copper cabling, okay? So we have what we have uh, called in IPv6, okay? We have what we call neighbor discovery messages, okay? <coughs> Okay, IPv6 uh, under neighbor discovery messages. Okay, usually we call it an IPv6 ND. Okay, they provide address resolution, router discovery, and redirection services. Okay, so this ICMPv6 neighbor certification. Okay, means solicitation means uh, ICMPv6 NS, and also an A which are the neighbor advertisement. So they are used for device to device messaging such as address resolution. So means that they not they have a proper channel of communication between two PCs if they need to ask what MAC address involved in the network when they want to send a message through the ICV, IPv6 protocol. Okay. So and then other than that, we have router solicitation and router advertisement. Okay, this one for messaging between device and routers for router discovery means that you have a lot of routers in the network and you want to know this router connected to which router, this router connected to which router and a lot of routers usually they know which router connected to it. To it. So usually if you want IP address in a further location, they will know that the router next to it, next to it, next to it until 
uh, the router next to your sender, okay, they will know which router to connect and to send. So this one sometimes helpful when they are in the sea of For example, if the one network is cut, you can use another router to go still send your information directly towards your destination. Okay, so they the direct messages, okay, they they, they they the direct messages they use by these routers for better next hop selection. Means that in case there are interruption as well, like I mentioned. So this one, they help you provide better quality of services within the network itself. So the type of uh, neighbor discovery, okay, so address resolution involved, like for example, in this case, okay, PC1 is asking whoever has uh, this IP address, send me your MAC address. And then PC2 is replying, hi, PC1 address, MAC, uh, IP address, IP visit address here. I am PC2 and my MAC address is this one. Okay, so IPPC addresses they use ND to resolve the MAC address of known PC IPv6 addresses. So I ICMP V6 neighbor select solicitation messages are sent using special Ethernet and IPv6 multicast addresses. So this sometimes help in providing security when asking the MAC address itself. Okay. So I, for chapter 9, it's a short chapter, okay, uh, I hope you guys understand what I'm uh, preaching to you guys for today. So that's all for today. Hopefully, you guys will meet me again in this next video. I'm Dr. Shafiq Fazi Kamaru Zaman, okay, telling you that, okay, uh, telling you that to stay safe, stay at home, and also stay study. Even though in my country here, Malaysia, our COVID-19 rate is getting low, uh, hopefully you guys take, still take precaution to ensure your safety in public. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye and have a nice day. Thank you.